Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income guilt free. Today, we're going to be talking about eClincher versus Hootsuite. These are two social media platform planners. What is a planner? When you start getting bigger in your business and you have more than one social media platform where you're posting, there are planners out there where you can actually sit down in one day and plan out all your posts for the month or for the week or however you want to do it. Each planner comes with different features so today we're going to compare eClincher and Hootsuite and I have a bonus for you today I'm going to give you um, the name of the app that I use to compare these and you can plug in any social media planner in there and do your own research because there's lots of different ones and I'm not going to sit here and tell you which is the right one for you so let's go ahead and get started let's look at eClincher and Hootsuite Now, like I said, yesterday I showed you, I'm going to give you a quick review of what a planner is. Basically, you go in, you make a post, you tell the planner where you want to post it, you pop, you add your own accounts, and then you can plan them. And I'm just going to show you real quick how easy it is. You can schedule, it comes up, asks you what time, and then it posts it for you. So it's pretty much that simple. Click, click, click you've got it the time that you would have involved would be planning your post but you can take one post and post it onto 10 different media platforms and that's what's cool about the planner if you choose you can save them in a queue like a, a an organized folder and you can recycle them so that's what's nice about planners now let's go ahead and look at eClincher um, I just went in and this is what you really want to look at is what are you getting for your money and they have three different plans basic premium and agency you can see right here the different prices and i just went right to their um website you can go in there yourself and look and, and get a closer view but you can see there's a big difference in the money the biggest thing you want to look at if you're new is how many profiles can i plan on and that's the biggest thing and right here for their basic 10 profiles now if you're starting to get bigger you can do 20 and it says three users some people will hire virtual assistants to go in and do their posting and planning for them other people are running their own agency and therefore they can have unlimited brands in there and 40 different profiles so it can get pretty huge depending on what your needs are pretty much if you scroll down everybody gets the same thing it starts um, your bottom plan um, pretty much you lose things like um, media library um, CRM integration and team collaboration and things like that a little bit of analytics aren't available to you but again if you're not a huge agency or you don't have that many accounts I think you could probably survive on the basic account for $59 a month now let's look at Hootsuite I have found when I've gone into the different plans most of them do the same thing honestly um, the differences you're gonna find is maybe they don't post on Instagram for example where another one will and that's really what you want to look at besides the money now here you can get 10 social profiles for only $29 a month so there's a difference you may go in and find they have a 30-day free trial as opposed to the 14 days I highly recommend that you go in check out the free trial so that you can make sure it's the right platform for you because again there are so many now let's look at apples apples I found this app and I'm going to put give you the link of it down below it's called get app and I can plug in any social media platform that I want and then I can compare them so here we have Hootsuite I'm going to take this one off I had I did add sprout social but I'm going to take it off because so we can see there um, you can add up to four at a time so today we're talking about eClincher and Hootsuite and you can visit their website it takes you directly there and we're going to scroll down okay I went ahead and, and put uh, social Spr sprout social back in there and I kind of changed my screen for you here because I want you to see how you can compare just by adding another social media planner and and figure out which one is best for you as you can see the overview um, 
they're pretty much the same in what they offer. You can use iPhone, you can go on the web, Android. Uh, typical customers are all the same. Um, support, the only one that's different is eClincher does not offer phone support. So if that's important to you, write that down, do a list of pros and cons. And then you can go in and they have screenshots to t show you what they look like. So if that's important to you, how easy are they to use? How easy are they to navigate? You can go into the different ones and see how easy. Now, earlier I showed you eClincher, very, very easy to use. All right, and now we have pricing, and this is when you want to start looking. Now, Hootsuite says they start at $19 a month, eClincher's $49, and Sprout Social's $99. Um, we were just over there at eClincher, and I believe it's already $59. So these may not be um, totally accurate. Hootsuite was actually $29. Um, so these are a little bit behind in the pricing. What I like about um, eClincher is there is no credit card required when you go in and look at the free trial. When you go to Hootsuite, you have to give your credit card. Now, a lot of people don't like to do that. So if that's important to you, you might want to take that off your list. Um, all of them have great ratings. And let's keep going down. And again, you can see um, Sprout Social is losing some of the features as we go. And what's interesting is they're the most expensive. Um, so there you have it. I want to show you what I use. Um, it's a lot cheaper and I highly recommend that you look at it. It's called Post Planner and Post Planner starts out at $3 a month. Now you only get three social platforms, but if you're just starting out and you're just trying to get a feel for it, get the three, do it, start out with that three, three social platforms, get them going, get yourself in the groove where you're planning things. And then later go up to the $9 a month and you have the social, 10 social accounts. I have done a video on Post Planner and how to navigate it. I actually did a series of four videos. Um, I will go ahead and post the one where I went in and navigate it. Um, but this will probably do what you need and it's only $3 a month or $9 a month. Again, it depends on what you need. I hope this was helpful, but I am gonna give you that app so that you can go in and start looking at all the different Meet social media platforms, the planners, and do some comparison on your own. Um, it's a big decision. So, and it's it's something. The, the reason I say it's a big decision, you don't want to spend a lot of time putting all these posts in there and planning them out and then deciding it's not the right platform for you because then you got to turn around and do it all over again. So take the time to research, go in, try out the tray free trials, maybe only post a few things, see how you like them. Then when you decide what you want, go in there big time and get a lot of stuff planned and save yourself some time. Thumbs up if this was helpful and subscribe to my channel. I have a video every single day that will help you with your business, whether it's affiliate marketing or just working online. All right. And don't forget to click those links below. That's to help you out with your social media planner.